Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this latest version of uh, Tales, Tales from Tales, Outer Tales, Space, Tales, Space, Tales, Space, where I take an HFY story from somewhere around the internet and read it aloud for your enjoyment. All the relevant links are down below. Like, subscribe, and all that YouTube comf to help this video and channel grow. Anyways, as always, I hope that you enjoy. I would like to give a quick thanks to our Tier 5 channel members and patrons. Fallen Angel, Buzz Killington. Thank you again. Now on to the story. The Trillies List, The Reverse Spietznuts. Written by the Z. To the Galactic Admiralty. In light of the final review of the Kolgrassi Rebellion and the previously unreported abduction of Private Kip and Specialist Pants, I would suggest a private viewing of my personal log with Sarge as well as the audio recording of Specialist Pats during their abduction and interrogation. I believe the reason for keeping this incident off record will present itself in short order. If any further clarifications are required, I would be well pleased to supply any explanation regarding what Private Kip called the Reverse Spetsnets. Respectfully, Zultrilli, Chipmaster of the Fourth Fleet. Sarge! Sir, do you have a moment? Zitrilli. Ah, Sarge, something to report. Sarge. I have a bit of a bad news to share with you, sir. Two of my men went missing about 72 hours ago. Zitrilli. Um, I trust you have very good reason why you, of all people, would deviate from protocol and fail to report this, uh, dereliction of Chi-Chi. You are aware that your unit, specifically, are high-value targets to the Kalgrassi, yes? Sarge, yes, sir, but uh, one of the Terrans was Private Kip. Zitrilli, and the other was? Sarge, Specialist Bats, sir. Zitrilli, that's, um, Specialist Bruce Yamada, right? Sarge, yes, sir. Zitrilli, I hesitate to ask, but why Bats, Sergeant? Sarge. That was Demi's doing, sir. Specialist Bats is the second deadliest Terran that I've ever had the pleasure of meeting. The man's got more training in hand-to-hand -hand combat than the entire Fourth Fleet combined. Outside of myself, he's the only soldier that can put the fear of God in Private Kip without physically breaking the brain-dead bastard. Zitrini. And? Sarge. Bats objected pointedly with being nicknamed Lee. Claimed it was a cultural insult. The goddamn Batman was also considered. But that was deemed too long, so Bats was happy to compromise. Zitrilli, I'll uh, have to catch up on the cultural significance later. Uh, please continue. Sarge, sir, ordinarily Private Kip being a wall on his own would be troubling for a number of reasons. But as long as Specialist Bats was around to make sure he didn't accidentally commit a war crime and check in every so often, I didn't worry about it. We were in the midst of a ceasefire. However, after 24 hours without a check-in, I sent out Demi and Duct to fight Bats, thinking maybe he was overseeing Kip's latest monstrosity. They couldn't find either Kip or Bats. Two days later, they just walked into my command post. Kip looked hungover. Bats was covered in cagey blood. Zitrini. And the reason for going AWOL? Sarge. They didn't, sir. They were abducted while on patrol. The cagey rebels were planning to, as Bats described it, interrogate and torture the two of them to death for, uh, crimes against the Kolkrasi people. Zitrini. How did they escape? Sarge. It's all in the audio recording, sir. I would strongly recommend against running it up the chain. Zitrini, because it would reflect poorly on your troops, Sergeant. Sarge, because I'm sure the Admiralty would reassign specialist bats. And I'm worried what Kip would do if he didn't have bats to check him. Kip. Ah, oh, Fugin, who stuffed my brain with cotton balls? Bats. Oh. Kip. Bats, that you? <coughs> Bats. Yeah. Freck. Everything. Ropes and cuffs are a bit tight. Burwell. Name and rank. Terran. Kip. Um. Private Kip. Terran. Duh. You got a glass of water or a... 
Bats, Kip, Kip. Oh yeah, and could you loosen up Bats's too? I don't think he's really into the whole bondage thing you got going. What with the ropes and the um cuffs? Pause. Kip. Ah, shite. Burrell. The sound of steel scraping on steel. You request a beverage, Private Kip. Kip. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I guess I did. Thanks. Gulping. Kip. <coughs> Bats. Kip, you idiot. Burrell. Here is how your interrogation will continue. I'll return here in one day's time. If you answer my questions accurately, you will be given another glass of this, uh, poison. If you are found to be lying or refuse to answer my question, I'll force your compatriot here to drink it. One of you will die slowly of dehydration. The other will die by a gunshot to the head. Logically, the best solution for you is to refuse to answer anything, but that will force your comrade to die of dehydration in front of you. The choice is yours. The door opens and shuts. Bats. Jesus, Kip. You okay? Kip. Nah, I'm alright, boss. Just wasn't expecting the KGs to have freaking moonshine. Bats. Wait, what? You sure? It wasn't, I don't know, formaldehyde or something. Kip. Bats, buddy. I'm from Georgia. My granddad was a bootlegger. I know what moonshine tastes like. Bats, uh... You don't think, Kip? I think that's exactly what they're thinking, and we're gonna play along. And you, specifically, are going to play a Bria patch to my Bria rabbit. Bats, I don't understand that reference, Kip. Right, okay. So here is how it's gonna play out. Meralt, prisoner is awake, Kip. Yeah, sure, fine. Let's get this over with. Meralt, you're willing to cooperate then? Kip. Yeah, I see the writing on the wall. Might as well make this painless as possible, right? Burrelt. This is surprisingly rational argument coming from the fire breather himself. Kip. Just, uh, promise me you won't, uh, never mind. Let's get this over with. Burrelt. Very well then, uh, name and rank. Kip. Private Kip, Terran Squad of the Fourth Fleet. A faint sound of liquid being poured, followed by gulping. Kip. <coughs> Frack that strong. Brault. And your fellow soldier. Kip. That. <coughs> Specialist bolts. Same squad and fleet. A faint sound of liquid being poured, followed by gulping. Brault. Our linguists determine that Terran rank of specialists suggests the unique mastery of a certain skill set. What is Specialist Bats an expert of? Kip. Freaking! <clears throat> I can't tell you that, man. Do whatever you want to me. Hell, I'll jug the rest of the shite right now. Just don't. Silence. Baralt, you have refused to answer my question. But falls, followed by pouring and gargling. Bats. <laughs> don't you fucking say a word, Private. Bats, I gotta do something or else you'll... Bats, not a goddamn word. Brault. Private Kip. Specialist Bats' skill set. Silence. Kip. He's, uh, He's the first human cyborg. Bats. Kip! Brault. Interesting. Boring. Why is that such an important factoid to keep quiet? Augmented sapiens are no secret to military life. Kip. It's, um, he's the first of his kind, and I'm his handler, and the only one who knows his override past race. Bats. You swore to me, you goddamn hillbilly frick up. You swore! Kip. Gulping. Oh, the shite is just terrible. Brault. And the past race? Bats, just shoot me yourself, Kip. Be a man for once in your life and pull the goddamn trigger yourself. Kip, nightfall. Silence. Brault, he does seem to be inactive now. Fascinating. Kip, look, I'm not proud of this. Just promise me you won't. Brault, go on, private. Kip, look, I just betrayed one of my best friends' greatest secrets. 
Just promise me you'll let the alcohol kill me, and not him. Brought. Footfalls and the sounds of fraying ropes. Private Kip, you were dead the minute we captured you. Your friend Specialist Bats was going to be collateral damage. But now that we know what he is, he's going to not only be an asset to rally our rebellion, but your personal executioner as well. Pain clicking of restraints being released. I wouldn't say that it was a pleasure to speak with you, Private Kip, but at least it was... Uh, wait, um, did you say alcohol? Kip, pouring, followed by a quiet sipping. Ah, I guess I did. Sip. Meralt, I never told you what you were drinking. Kip, no, no, you didn't. Meralt, and you uh, are drinking it on your own now. Kip, yep. I am Meralt, and Specialist Bats is uh, Bats, contemplating which one of your bones to break first. Next to these notes, while Specialist Bats and Private Kip were technically abducted during a ceasefire and therefore victims of Kalkrasi breaking the truce, we were unable to contact any rebel faction within the Kalkrasi leadership responsible for the abduction. Specialist Bats informed me that there aren't any living cages in that facility that we were being held in to collaborate the story. Private Kip, shortly before vomiting and passing out, reported that, In Soviet Russia, prisoner waterboard you. I assume this was a cultural significance. End of story. And that, my friends, concludes this video. I hope that you enjoyed, and if you do, please consider supporting the author even by popping over and leaving a thumbs up or a nice comment just to show your appreciation for the story. However, if you wish to support this channel, there are links down below which will help immensely. I will see you all in the next one, and until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day. Cheers.